Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. You know there's nothing better than starting a new build and with the first cut of the sprue or the first screwing of a part or even the first uh, placement of a detail on a model, there's uh, that feeling of the adventure that you've got coming. There's nothing parallel to that than doing the last of the sprues and the last of the screw and the last detail you're putting on. Today, that's what we're doing. We've got pack 12, the last pack of the Agora models, Shelby Super Snake. That was really profound, wasn't it? <laughs> now you'll notice that I've got my towel down. That's pretty much gonna be down for the whole build this time because uh, the frame that we worked on last time, we're gonna be turning it upside down and on its side and all over the place. Uh, I'm gonna try and help you along the way so we don't break anything before we actually marry these two together and we've got the completed vehicle. But basically we're gonna be putting the doors on, we're gonna be putting the windows on, the valance on. Uh, it's pretty much gonna be complete. It is going to be complete <laughs> when we're finished and uh, it's going to be on the shelf and um, well, I'll do a little showcase at the end as well so you can see what this looks like. Been really excited for this. This has been like 12 months in the making uh, and we're going to have a final finished car at the end of it. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> Now, very easy first stage, stage 91, is just the inner rim for the windshield, but we don't actually do anything with this, we just got to open it up and save it for stage 92. So that's next. Now, as you can see in stage 92, we've got this gorgeous frame, all chromed, looking just like that. We've also got some windscreen wipers here, and we can put that to one side, we're not gonna need that, but what we do need is the car. So there we go, this is the area we're going to be working from from the windscreen and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just put in the interior seal looking like this. Now this is just going to fit into this area like this and then we're going to be putting the frame just on top of it. Now as you can see we've got tabs at the top here and at the bottom and it's the tabs that we're just going to poke through the tabs that we can see around the vehicle here. So I'll line these up and push these in. I'm going to do the bottom ones first and then I'll do the top ones. One, two, three. Make sure that when you're pushing these in you're only pushing the frame, you don't want to be pushing the glass here. But there we go, that is all of them in. Just making sure it's flat all the way around, which it is, and that's the windshield in place. And that's all there is to do in that stage. <coughs> Now in stage 93, we're gonna be working on the upper vent grill looking just like this. Once again, this is all metal. Paintwork is unsurpassed, that looks brilliant. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the windscreen wipers uh, to this. So quite simply, this is what the windscreen wipers look like. They're gonna be very delicate, so be gentle with these. Uh, just gonna be putting in the hole here, and then we're gonna turn it upside down and securing that in place with some MP08 screws. Now this does have a little keyhole pattern, which is gonna help us put that in to where it goes. And that's the MP08 with screws with the flange on there, and that's just gonna go into this side here. Now I'm pushing all of these pieces in really slow, because I don't wanna damage them and I don't wanna over tighten them either. But there we go, that's the first one in. Let's do the same with the other one. Again, we've got a little keyhole pattern just on the bottom there. We can line that up. And then, whoops. Another MP08 screw in here. And when that's in, it should look just like that. I'm gonna put that to one side and bring over the car again, because this is gonna go just into this area here. So I'm gonna put that under the bonnet here to put that into place so it's resting lovely on the windows there we're going to need to spin the vehicle over and screw this in from the underside now i'm holding that with my hand under here as you can see on the side camera there it's going to be screwed into these two holes here and that's md06 screws and i'm putting these in a little bit of oil before i put them in because they are going into metal 
just like that and we'll put the first one in put the second screw in there we go and then when I turn the vehicle back over again as you can see that's all in place <laughs> I'm going to put this just over to this side here because mirroring exactly what we just did we've got issue 94 here which is basically the inner frame we don't actually do anything with this in this stage but we're going to store it safely for the next stage now in stage 95 as you can see we've got the frame for the rear window there some mpo2 screws and we've also got the radio antenna which is metal looking just like that first thing we need to do bring the vehicle back over so now we've got this this way we're going to be putting the window in with the curve side here facing towards the top and that's just going to sit in just like that and then once again we're going to be putting the frame in following the detail and the contours around doing exactly like we did for the front one so align the bottom lugs first one two whoops then the sides and finally the top And there you go when that's in it should look just like that so when it comes to glazing <laughs> we've done the back and we've done the front now now we leave the radio antenna for the next stage now to start this stage we're going to be starting to put the door trims on so we've got the right hand side door trim looking like that that's just going to go into these lugs that we can see around here so put that on one two three four and five and just push them in as far as they'll go and there we go that's the right door trim in now we're going to be putting in the right hand side door seal if you're unsure which one's the right hand side as you can see there is a letter here which tells you so we've got an r on there and that's going to go on with the grills facing towards the edge of the car and once again we've got some lugs in here so we're just going to line that up push the lugs in one two and three that's the door seal in place and then we're going to repeat what we've just done on the left side so i'll spin the vehicle around and this time we'll put the left ones in so once again in the lugs one two three four five make sure they're in all the way and then we've got the door seal just to put at the bottom there so line up the holes one two three and that's both the door seals in and that's all there is to do in that stage Now for stage 96 we're going to be putting the headliner in for the vehicle but we're also going to be attaching the doors so i'm just going to turn this over just like this so the first one i'm going to actually work on will be the left side door hinge here that's the uh, door that we're putting on is the one with the wing mirror on looking just like that and quite simply all we're going to do we've got the hinge in here we're going to align the door and the hinge up making sure that it's fitting perfectly flush in there take your time getting this aligned up just like that and that's going to be held in with one of the md13 screws just from the other side here now what you do need to make sure before we put it in definitely use some oil on this so i'll put that in some oil and we're going to be putting a screw just into the middle hole here to keep that hinge in make sure it's nice and tight and i'm just checking that door opens and closes which is perfect and we're going to just repeat that just on the other side so it's hard to uh, pick the vehicle up now i'm going to keep the door open i think just while i spin it around because i have been picking it up just by the uh axis under the doors there so we'll do this one as well line up the hinge
make sure it's lined up, which it is. And when they're on, just check the doors open and close, no problems at all. We'll just turn it round. And just check this side too, that the door opens and closes, no problems. Okay, so in issue 98, we're gonna be working on the sun visors. They look just like this, we've got two of them. As you can see, they've got a curve on them here. That's gonna dictate what side we actually put them. So uh, the curve needs to go out this way so that this beveled edge is going towards the center. So this one will be going on this side here. And quite simply, all you do is just push it into place there. That'll enable that to go down and up. We do the same on the other side there. One, and then push it into space just like that. Now we need to put the rear view mirror in. Now the rear view mirror looks just like that and that has got a tiny, tiny attachment for it. Now this is a D-shaped attachment here which just goes pushed into the hole that you can see at the back there. So I'm just gonna line this up, make sure that's pushed all the way in, just like that. And then quite simply all we have to do then is just put the rear view mirror like this and secure it from the other side with an MP05 screw looking just like that. So I'll put that in here. And that's the headliner done with the rear view mirror on, as you can see there. Now I was gonna put the headliner just to one side. I'm gonna need to bring the vehicle over here and I'm gonna turn it upside down. Now, as you can see from the top cameras there, we've got four lugs, one, two, three, four, that we're just gonna push this into place. It's gonna match these four lugs here. And all we gotta do, line it up. When we're happy with the fit, just push it down. Now make sure that obviously your uh, section here is on a soft surface. You don't wanna scratch that uh, finish on there. So make sure you push that down on the four points that we've got here all around just like that, then this shouldn't be able to come up and it's gonna hold itself into place, no problems. The only other thing we need to fit is the antenna here, and that's just gonna be going into the hole that we can see here, but we don't wanna put it in while it's fly, uh, lying this way round. We wanna do this at an angle here, because as soon as this goes on its roof now, you will crush this, so you don't wanna do that. Now this has got a shape, as you can see in there, and it's just gonna go into the hole that we can see here, just like that. And it's gonna be held in from the other side with an MP02 screw. So I've got it on its side here, holding it with my arm, getting it a, a little tizzy here. And there we go. That's the area in place. Now you wanna make sure that you don't put this upside down now because unless we support this here. Now this doesn't go up and down. I don't know if it allows us to take it out. I don't think it does. <laughs> so we need to be careful when we put that in. Now this is the bit we've been waiting for. We're gonna be putting the top section onto the bottom section. So. What we've got to do is we've got to connect the electrics here for what electrics we have left on this side. Now, if we were to put this on its side, just like this now, which we can do, we don't want to put it flat. I don't know if any cameras can see this, probably the, uh, the rear or this camera over here, because we don't want to crush the wing mirror that we got in the side here. So when we are doing all these electrics here, it's going to be a little bit fiddly, but we need to sort of have this on that sort of angle there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match all of these electrics now to the electrics that we still got to find a place for, uh, vacant plugs if you like, and when that's in, I'm gonna tuck them all into this section here, and then we're gonna put the top on. So I'm gonna do that now. Hopefully you'll be able to see me on this side camera.
Now these are all in, I'm just going to work on doing all the wire tidy for this so that the wires are not going round the side bit here. They're all going to be hidden into this section just here. Now, one of my wires has just fallen out, which is wire seven for the lights. I'm just going to put that one back in. But you want to check that all of these connections are in place before we put everything on. So I'm just tucking everything in now. And this bit you really want to take your time on because this is going to make things easier when you, uh, one second, when we actually come to piece the full vehicle together. You want to make sure that none of your seat belts are caught in, which mine were here. So I'm just going to lift that up a touch just to get the seat belt out. We're looking good on that side. I'm going to put the uh, bonnet down for a second, turn it round so I can have a look at the other side here. My seat belts are good on that side. Now I'm going to just check the electrics again to make sure they're all in one piece. So just checking, I've got all the lights on at the front, all the lights on at the back. The horn works, the accelerator works, and the brakes, they work as well. So all the electrics are working fine. So I'm ready at the stage now to actually screw this together. And I'm gonna be putting two times MD14 screws just at the back section first to hold them in now. With all of this, you are definitely going to need some oil. So I've got my uh, screwdriver loaded up. So I'm going to turn it on its side. And I'll get the first back section screw into place. If you look at the pictures, the screw is just here, just underneath the back wing and between the spring. So I'll put this in here. If it's lined up, it should bite the top section. We can get this in nice and tight and there we go now what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a jig just for the front section here so that I can actually put this down without breaking the uh, antenna there and lucky for me I've got the bit of foam that I had for the Bismarck that is going to be brilliant absolutely brilliant I mean look at that it was like it was made for the job really isn't it so <laughs> so second one's going into this side here you probably heard the click there as it's going all the way into place And that's the back section in. Okay, so I can put the car just to one side for a minute again. Let it roll itself over there. The last thing we need to do on this stage is just to do the fog lights, which I've got here. I'm just gonna open the packets up here. And these are gonna be going on the valance when we've completed that. It's quite simply all we have to do. We've got a little tiny lens here. We just push the lens into the top, just like that. Do the same on the other side here. That will just go in just like that. And then we bring over the uh, valance that we had last time. We put the fog lights just into these sockets here, making sure they fit flush into the grooves that we've got there. Just like that. And then we secure it the other side with an MPO1 screw. So put that in here. That's the first one going in. Lovely jubbly. And then the second one, exactly the same. 
it's gone in perfect MPO one screw and we put that in to this side here and when that's done it should look just like that and that's all there is to do in this stage <laughs> Now in stage 100 we're working on the rear bumper looking just like this got some screws here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting the number plate onto the rear bumper so what we want to do is take the number plate looking like this with the holes nearer to the edge here and that's just going to go onto this section here it should sit itself nicely there but as you can see we've got two screw holes here they're going to be screwed in with mp02 screws which i've got here so just open them up these are really tiny very tiny in fact so pick one of them up here i didn't even realize how tiny these things were actually were so here's the first one going in excellent just one on the other side it's going into there we then just want to bring the vehicle back over again and I'll move one of my cameras around because this is just going to attach to this section just here let me just remove the uh, tape I've got there so this is just going to go in just like that oops I've got to get the exhaust through the hole there and it's going to be secured in with screws here and they're going to be MD02 screws once again they end in a, uh, a D which means they're going into metal I will put these in a touch of uh, oil but uh, let's get these in we've got one here that will hold it into place for the minute as a matter of fact these screws here don't need oil they're so small I don't think oil is going to do much to them to be honest with you we want one just over this side we don't put uh, screws in all of these holes because the other holes that you can see there are for the bumper to plug into but we've got one here and then the final one is just going to go into the ends there just like that then we're going to put on the chrome section here and as you can see we've got four lugs those four lugs are just going to go into the holes there and these are just a push to fit so once they're lined up push them in Oops, just close that up do the other side here you should hear it click when it goes all the way in and there we go the back of the vehicle there that looks absolutely brilliant you know what i just want to uh turn on the lights just so you can see what they look like i hope that's come up and we'll press the brake just so you can see what the brakes look like as well but i will show you that when i demonstrate it but that looks absolutely brilliant <laughs> that means the last thing we've got to put in is just the last number plate here that's going at the front of the vehicle it's going to be held in with md03 screws these are tiny as well now we're going to be putting the number plate just into this metal section that you can see just underneath there hopefully you can see that it's going to go in just there and that's going to be held in with md03 screws and when that's in that looks just like that i'll put the pins in of the uh bonnet again in a second and attach that back up let me just show you what the uh engine looks like in there <laughs> looks pretty cool once again i'll show you what it looks like with the lights on and there you go that's what it looks like with the lights on that looks really cool now if i just open the bonnet here just so you know the batteries go into this terminal here and as you can see it takes three of the batteries there i believe they are um i think they're lr44 batteries but there's three in there and then obviously you can put the uh battery pack back over there and i'll shut that down i'll just open the driver's door again and just show you uh what switch does what so just showing you the controls here you've got the headlights here so that turns them on and off you've got the horn here so you press that and the horn will sound uh the middle pedal if you press that you've got the brakes and then if you press the accelerator next to it you get the revving of the engine but that is the finished super snake and i think what i'll do now is get you some glory shots to show you what this looks like so as you can see it's got pride of place on my shelf up there and uh, it's looking absolutely brilliant but 
but, and there's a big but for this, uh, there is some other things that you get from Agora Models. Once again, I'll put the link down here where you can get this from, agoramodels.com. Uh, but these next two items are something really special, which if you think that's good, <laughs> wait till you see this. So, comes in a lovely box, open it up, all protected in bubble wrap, and we have got this lovely coffee table book here. And uh, I'm gonna show this to you. <laughs> see how good this actually is all wrapped in cellophane it's got a lovely faux leather front on it hard back looking just like this wow and i'm just gonna give you an idea i love breaking the spine there oh that's excellent of how cool this coffee table book actually is look at the images of the super snake there I'm being very delicate with the pages because they're not just like a normal bound book. These actually open, so as you can see, they're perfectly flat. But the images on these are absolutely brilliant. This complements the build amazingly. Check that out. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'll go halfway through at least, just so you can get an idea of the book. And I'll save the rest for you. But that's what the book looks like. I've got a big smile on my face. I've never seen a book bound like that where the pages are actually flat when you uh, open it up. Doesn't matter where you open it. Normally when you're in the middle, they're flat, but not at the beginning and the end, but uh, absolutely lovely book. So that's the first thing you get with this subscription. Let me show you what the next thing is. Now, obviously this is still wrapped up at the moment. Now in the build, we get the Goodyear tires, which are the thinner, narrower tires, but you can also get, as you can see here, you also get the Mustang tires, which are a lot more chunky. You've got the hubcaps in here as well, and they look just like that. I'm not gonna replace mine at the moment, but uh, they're quite easy to do. You just take the screw out the other one and then screw these into its place there. We've actually got five of these, so we've got one for the spare as well. We've got one, two, three, four, and five looking just like that these are really heavy <laughs> i didn't realize how heavy they actually are you've actually got the goodyear branding on them as well but as you can see they're a lot thicker to the normal tires and i've just taken a picture of what the uh, smaller tires look like on the vehicle uh, i'm now conflicted what tires should i put on the vehicle i don't know but having that option of these other two items here which are the tires and the book makes this extra special so there you go, I think all that's left now is to give you some of the glory shots of the Super Snake. I have absolutely loved this build. 12 packs, it looks like it's gone in a blink. I tell you, I can't believe it was like 12 months ago that we actually started this and now we've actually finished it. But uh, it's gonna be a sad day and another build's finished, but it's a happy day. I've got something looking so good on the shelf there. But if you wanna get this from yourself all the way from pack one, just head over to agoramodels.com and you'll be able to subscribe to this worldwide you can get this for yourself. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.